This is Gene Keyes, SkyServe News. KHOU.com reports a man who was on trial for aggravated sexual assault of a child in Beaumont opened fire at the Jefferson County Courthouse Wednesday morning, killing at least one person and wounding three others. It happened around 11 a.m. yesterday. The alleged shooter was identified as 41-year-old Bartholomew Granger. The suspect was waiting outside the courthouse late Wednesday morning when he started shooting. Reports indicated that the first person was shot and possibly even run over. Then an elderly woman was shot near the courthouse doors. She died at the scene. A third victim, who was shot multiple times, may have run into the Jefferson County Clerk's Office for cover. A fourth person was shot at the bus transfer station, which is about two blocks away. Beaumont police said officers fired several shots at Granger as he fled. He ran into the Richard Construction Building down the road where he took at least four people hostage. Richard Construction employees were able to get Granger's gun, and police took him into custody. Granger was rushed to the hospital with what police described as very serious injuries. The three surviving gunshot victims were all taken to the hospital in Beaumont. KHOU.com reports a three-year-old girl suffered contusions on her face and head after she fell from a carnival ride at Rodeo Houston Wednesday afternoon. Witnesses said the child's mother decided to get off the techno jump ride before it started, leaving the girl and her eight-year-old brother. She crawled out from under a restraining bar of a carnival ride, falling to the ride's platform in the process, according to a Rodeo Houston spokesperson. The ride had just started but had not gained any height. The victim was drifting in and out of consciousness when she was rushed to the Texas Children's Hospital. Rides at the carnival have a height requirement, and the girl met the height requirements for the ride. The ride was inspected just the day before and had passed inspection. KHOU.com reports friends, family, and colleagues are shocked at the loss of a Houston firefighter who died Wednesday after collapsing at the scene of a kitchen fire in southwest Houston. Crews were called to an apartment complex just after 8.30 a.m. The fire, which was said to be cooking-related, was quickly contained. Senior Captain Thomas W. Dillon of Fire Station 69 began to complain of chest pains, then collapsed. The 49-year-old captain was rushed to West Houston Medical Center with CPR in progress but could not be saved. If you would like the latest Texas news on your mobile device, you can follow on YouTube. Simply search SkyServe News or Gene Key. You can also follow me on Facebook or Twitter. This is Gene Key, SkyServe News.